So let's talk about the film, Venus and the Sun. Can you summarise, please, exactly what it's about? Um, Venus and the Sun is a modern retelling of the Greek myth Venus and Adonis, where I play a fictionalised version of myself being a modern-day love goddess. Once, when Venus' son was kissing her, his quiver dangling down, a jutting arrow unbeknown had grazed her breast. I had to really see myself as a sort of different, like a character almost, because... I mean, it's hard to play me and be like, well, the key, this Keely, who I am, doesn't do or say those things. So to keep within the context of the script and, and fulfill that, I had to be like, well, OK, this is a character, this is somebody else. Um, so essentially, I looked at it as a different person, as Venus, I like to think of it as. Uh, you've done a bit of acting already, but how do you find, you know, uh, being in front of the camera, being filmed versus being photographed? I think for me, you need to kind of get something from it and acting gives you something sort of you're, you're working with something you're trying to achieve and you're kind of consumed that you forget that the sort of camera's there, whereas modelling it's very much to camera unless you're doing something really sort of fun and, and cool and trying to like portray like a whole different theme. Looks like someone's cracked the highbrow market. That thing is very different. You are Killer. doing something and you're very consumed by that Good in day. that moment. What knew it? Do you have, would you say, an actress whose style you model yourself upon? Yeah, I love Glenn Close. I think she's an amazing actress and I love the films that she's got, uh, she's done. Um, so, yeah, she's definitely an inspiration and I look up to her. Um, also, Meryl Streep is amazing. Um, Claire Danes I love. Yeah, there's, there's so many. So, if you had your choice of the ultimate film role, what would it be? Um, the ultimate film role? I mean... Some I like kind of weird things, so something like Glenn Close in Fatal Attraction, like playing that kind of messed up character would be perfect. A lot of nice things have been said about you over the years, you've achieved a lot. Let's start off with this one from David Cameron. Keely Hazel is an environmental hero. Well, who? Um, I, that's so flattering. It's, it's great to have been sort of recognised for trying to do your bit, really. Um, yeah, I was like, oh my God, this is so crazy. David Cameron even knows who I am. Would you accept a government job from the cameras? Probably not, no. <laughs> I, I guess you get a lot of attention going out and about. So how do you deal with it? Does it get annoying at, at all? I mean, to be honest, I don't get recognised um, at all, really. Um, so that's kind of easy to deal with. Um, attention with just people kind of looking at me thinking I'm some sort of normal girl is I mean what every girl goes through so that's kind of easy it comes with being a girl and so the fateful warning was ignored with Adonis slain by the boar and her heart broken Venus returned to the heavens drawn by her silver swans across the sky 